All right, hello everybody. Welcome to episode one officially. Those last the three you saw yesterday were kind of just like freebies, I guess, or test runs. Um, this one's gonna be a lot different. I'm adding a lot of um, new things, stuff that we've had in before, but I am sh just doing a lot better. It's more clean and stuff, more compact, so it's not so like um, just shoving shit down your throat. It's actually gonna be good, and I'm actually excited for this. It's not like previous times were like okay now it's time for that now let's do that i'm actually excited for this one but um for our first episode we are doing the 2018 honda civic type r versus the 2018 mustang gt both high-end sports cars um both a class but um obviously these cars are very different though and what they can do good obviously my mustang can um shred shit in a straight line but obviously the civic type r should do laps around it in a track but at the same time you don't know there is a hundred 20 horsepower difference i'm pretty sure his front wheel drive i'm rear wheel drive so like i said it should be interesting um similar but not at the same time but um yeah i'll let you go first with your specs Motherfucker. all right well i have a 2018 honda civic tape arm it no has way. a two liter yeah believe it or not i have a two liter turbocharged inline four engine for 306 horsepower and 295 pound feet of torque i weigh 3100 pounds and as he said i am front wheel drive Okay, so like on paper, obviously my car, at least in the power department, shreds it. So um, under the hood, I have a 5 liter naturally aspirated V8. I'm pretty sure y'all know that. 5.0. Uh, 460 brake horsepower and 420 pound feet of torque. I am front engine, rear wheel drive, 6 speed transmission, and I weigh 3,700 pounds. So I do weigh 600 more pounds than him, but I do have a lot more power. So yeah, I'm honestly excited. But normally we would go straight to our, um, what's it called? Big track, but no. First, we go to a drag race. So let's hit up the festival, which is, I believe, just right there. All right, watch me do. Oh, oh, golly, this is gonna be fun. All right, and I should already display my power advantage. Yes, look at that. Again, both of these cars are pretty nice. We always say this, or we always ask each other this question, which one do you think looks nicer? Um, oh, I'm trying to turn the volume up real quick. Hit the hood. Say that again? Which one do you think is nicer, looks nicer? Looks nicer? Um, I'd say the Mustang. I would say the Type R. Holy I shit! Alright, make sure you slam on your brakes. Oh. Okay, there we go. All right, where is okay? Drag race is right here. All right, let's go over here. Which car would you rather have, though? The Mustang. Uh, I definitely, probably, I, yeah, I probably have the Mustang too. Oh I mean, my I guess god! The Civic would be cool because you carry four people in it, and the Mustang would be squeezed like a really tight squeeze. Well, you're telling this to me who fit fitted six people in a Scion six FRS. people in an FRS. So yeah. I think I'd be fine with either or. All right, we're here. Right oh. Jesus Christ! I was supposed to slam him. Like I said, we're move. <laughs> there we go. All right, um, prediction. We'll do our prediction before uh, each event. Who do you have winning the drag race? Obviously the Type R. I know. I was about to say. Actually, no. It's gonna be close, but I will have to say the Type R as well. All right. Anything goes. I'm just gonna have to trust that this guy made up. This Type R is gonna get crushed. Yeah, probably. No, it will. It's gonna get crushed. It's gonna get crushed, yeah. It's gonna get absolutely destroyed. Yep. And I am excited to be given the ass whooping. I'm very excited to do that. And the power department for like a hatchback, this thing has a fuck ton of power, over 300 horsepower. Let alone some six, what I mean. For hatchback. How much pound feet of torque though? Only like 290. Crazy amount. Huh? Only 290 though, right? Pound feet of torque? Yeah, I think so. Hilarious. So I have 130 more pound feet of torque, and I believe 100. And 50 to 60 more power. Horsey's under the hood. So, again, obviously this is where the Mustang should um, take a W. All right. Straight lines, kind of hard. Kind of hard. It's a really hard track, honestly. This is probably one of the harder tracks in the game. Exactly. Yeah. And this car being front-wheel drive does not help it whatsoever. Yeah, I don't – I still – I mean, I guess they keep it front-wheel drive for the – Heritage and you know they've all been front wheel drive, but honestly, front wheel drive cars just don't make sense. None. Yeah, really. Just make it rear wheel drive or all wheel drive, really. I exactly. Why, but all right, I'm starting on the right lane. 
Bam. Out. Out by. Hit 60. And look at the Mustang powering through. You got this, Civic. <laughs> look at that. And make sure you jot these down. Or get a picture of them. <clears throat> Just in case you didn't, I will. Bam. All right. So, um, grr, 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 grr. that was um, it for our drag race. And then, like I said, I did add some new stuff. And now we will go into news, but it's different. Instead of just reading a bunch of stories, I have personally just got a new car with actual information. So, like I said, it's not so boring. It's actually, it's trust me, you'll see what I mean. See how that. <laughs> All right, and here is that? our news. So, we start off in the lobby room, and to give y'all a nice picture. In the lobby room. Here we go. Here, let me undo all of this. Oh shit! You do not touch it. I'm trying to do this. All right. So today's car is the 2022 Toyota GR86. As you hear, we have two pictures of it right here. That's the front end of it, and then the rear Ooh. end. You see this, right? Do you see it? Oh yeah, yeah. I can okay, see it. Okay, I'm just making sure that it's all working properly. So again, you can see this picture. It's the um, new version of the Subaru BRZ or Toyota GT86. And um, so I do have some of the specs here. So engine is a 2.4 liter flat four. Horsepower is 232, which is a lot more than the, um, if y'all didn't know, like I was mentioning earlier, we do have an FRS and that only has 190 something horsepower. So that is a good horsepower boost, which that car desperately needed. And torque is 184 pound feet of torque, which is pretty similar to the um, old FRSs and GT86s. Drivetrain is front engine, rear wheel drive, six speed, uh, manual transmission is standard, and then the automatic one you can get as an option. And it is set to cost around $31,000, which is not bad. Uh, when my mom got her FRS in 2015, it was like around that same price, so pretty good. And and miscellaneous i'll read you this so this is um some more information so while the chassis is shared between the two models the brz and the frs and uh, not the frs and the um gr86 toyota claims that it has tuned the gr86 to handle differently compared with the brz but the company has yet to provide specifics on what this entails so we're eager to drive both sports cars like i said i got this from whatever the hell it's called um car and driver i will put that in the description so if you want to go on the website whatever this is where i got all this information and then the next one is y'all you'll also be able to tell toyota apart by its different front end which is good because i always hated how the gt86 frs and brz they all had the exact they were all the exact same they had like minor differences like in the headlight design like how the bulbs were but um yeah and car and driver says that they can't spot any differences out back and interiors appear to be nearly identical aside from the infotainment and display and badges which is obvious and normally we'll have two, like I would have my own car, like for instance, this is the car I decided to bring the news and he would, but um, like I said, I just kind of got this together today. So next time you'll see this, he should have his own car with his own information, if his brain can do all that. But um, yeah, so do you have anything to say about the GR86? Um, it's not very much to say. I guess it's kind of cool they're going to be somewhat different from the BRZ. Yeah, honestly, yeah. I think they're going to be the exact same thing. Yeah, I'm that's happy that has more power. been doing for like the past five years. Oh, yeah, finally. 200, 232. That is yeah. a lot of horse. Oh, I, don't, I didn't see how much the car weighed. I should probably put that, but I don't. I, it didn't say how much it weighed, I don't think. But I assume it's pretty light. I mean, FRS only weighed about like 20, 100-something pounds. So it was a light car, and I assume this will be the exact same. And, yeah, that's pretty much it. Pop quiz, what does GR mean? What does it stand for? I don't know. Gazoo Racing. I don't. I know that's like some sort of racing what? thing. Yeah, Gazoo Racing. Something under Toyota. But um, interesting. Yeah. So yeah, that's pretty much it for the news today. Like I said, next time uh, we'll have his own car with blah 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 and all that stuff. But um, yeah. Now we can get onto the fun race that we do on the snow track. Y'all are familiar with it if y'all been watching. So yeah, see y'all there. And here, guys, here is a levitating Mustang. Oh, okay, it was levitating. On my screen, but did you say did they add any Lexuses? No, they did not. Mm -hmm. Maybe they did. Of course. I mean, I don't see why they wouldn't have an LC500, or maybe even the new ISF or RCF. Exactly, I would expect at least the uh, LS500. Yeah, LS500 RCF should be, or one of those should be in. I mean, yeah, I, I don't see why they. Why Most they likely the RCF, if anything. 
I'm trying to think. Yeah, well, maybe. Or maybe fucking bullshit and they add like the, like the ISF in like 2009. Yep, yeah, no, they'll have those in there probably. Alright, and I've already passed them due to my car's tremendous speed and power and I will probably get caught along these corners. Like I said, this car, I'm not going to doubt that it handles better. Oh shit. Oh shit. Alright, right, bye Jaden. I, I somehow survived. <laughs> oh my god, did you see my Tokyo Drift? And you were doing better. Look at that. The front wheel drive is actually doing better. Look at that. That's pretty. Uh, that's interesting. Oh shit. Okay. This thing can't even get its tail out for obvious reasons. Yeah. Yeah, if you get it sliding, it'll be the front, which is not good. Alright. Pretty much, uh, I like this Mustang a lot. Um, obviously, I like the one before it, but I don't like the facelift that much. Facelift is meh. I do like the new tail lights, though. They're like pretty. They're really similar, but. They like kind of curve at the ends. The only one were just like straight lines. When are we gonna get a new Mustang? Like a whole new one? It's Never. already been out for like seven freaking years. Yep. No. And the one before that was out for from 2008. This thing to has massive amounts of undersea. Yeah, I'm sure. Oh my god, I took that way too fast. Luckily, I didn't have to um, pay the price. Though. I'm actually surprised I held my own that entire way. Yeah, the car did pretty good. Oh, I can't say how this thing will do here. Fuck. Guys, I, if you didn't know, I was on Tokyo Drift for a little bit. They kicked me out because I was too I good. They took him off because he was too good. Yeah. Exactly. Literally, I was just sliding that. Alright, let's on, not Mr. be Civic. silly. Alright, come on, Mustang. Let's start chipping away. If this Civic doesn't make it over here to the straight, that straight the turn before you, it's over. I mean, it's gonna make it obviously. Like I said, you have a pretty good chance of winning. It just depends on if the Mustang's power bails it out, which it probably could. You never know. The hell? That is not fun though. When there we go. All right, Mustang, you gotta start chipping away. Slowly and slowly. I could also see myself getting absolutely destroyed on like the hill. Yeah. You go down. Yeah. I just gotta pray you fuck up there. If you don't, then that's it. I tend to not fuck up though, so you would have. Yeah, that is there. the problem though. You tend to be a good driver. Yeah, so you, praying is good, but you never know. Everyone messes up. Inside. I went. In, I went out. I went way too out. Oh, I went way too wide. I'm. He was playing checkers. I am playing chess. Okay. Fucked her. My fault. Yeah, you're fine. Like I said, I don't play checkers. I play chess. Let's slide. This thing takes corners super duper well. Like I said, yeah. I mean, your car, like it's like I was saying in the intro, cars are both good at very different things. I'm playing checkers though. Oh no, I'm playing chess. I hit the wall. Fucking hell. I'm gonna take the inside and then go inside again. Fuck! Oh, damn. Alright. Here we go, Mustang. That's it. Come on, Civic. Like I said, I have a GED in chess. I didn't. This is gonna be a tough corner to handle on this car. This car loves sliding. And then you add snow to it.
Look at that. Look at the slide. Look at the main. I just maintained the slide like that. Call me LeBron James. All right, Civic. You got this. Jesus, this car is a beast. Too much power for its own good. Golly. What the hell? <laughs> now, what the hell? Yeah, I know, I got hit. I played stupid this entire race. I know, you've been hitting me. But I'm playing chess. You're not. Thank you. Did you see my chest movement? Get out of my way, bitch. I was gonna let you pass. I was gonna say, if he could outrun me, I'll let him pass. Oh my god, and a close finish. I'm not even gonna break. Oh, what a close race. finish. Yeah, that was a close race. This Civic t handles really well. My tr my Mustang plays chess. If you didn't know, really? Yeah, I, I was How talking to him before that? he it was playing. Have, it doesn't have arms or anything. Well, he he said he's won multiple chess tournaments. So. Oh really? Yeah, I'll give him the benefit so of the doubt. So your Mustang's a nerd. Well, yeah, I guess. Did he win though? Talk to him nice. I want you to say. <laughs> Fuck you, Mustang. I want you to talk to him nice. All right, that no, was it for stay. the big race, and now we will go to a cool wall. Blah, 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 blah. <clears throat> All right, here at our cool wall, if you um, don't know, usually what we do is we have the judgment room where we put the um, car that we're going to vote in. So, dang, my cherry creeks. Damn. Loudy shit. No, but it, no, it, for some, I don't know why the chair made a smell when it creaked. That's weird, but... um. Yeah, so our first car, as you know, is a 2022 GR86. So, what do you think? I really actually do like the looks of this car. Um, it's cool that they're finally doing something different. Believe it or not, it's more powerful from the I 190 agree. horsepower it had. So, I really like it. Yep. And it goes right here and hot as hell. We'll make it small. Bam. And then put it on the top right there. And bam. Hot as hell, our first uh, member of the Hot as Hell Club. Next one is the one I am driving, the one that has been superior the whole day. 2018 Mustang GT. Um, what do you think? What do you think, son of a bitch? Oh, my fault. Um, I'm, there's not much to say about it. It's a Mustang. Um, it's cool. I'm, I don't know about the facelift, though. I'm gonna put it in its heating up because I'm not saying it's not cool, but it's just, it's a, it's just a Mustang. It's not like a GT500 or GT350R. It's just a Mustang GT. So I'll put it in the its heating up. Like I said, there's definitely cooler Mustangs. And man, the car he is driving, the 2018 Honda Civic Type R. Here we go, right here. Uh, I'll start. Um, I think this car is pretty cool, actually. I like it a lot. Especially that color, too. and looks even better in um, person or on camera. So yeah, that's pretty much what I have to say. I assume you agree. Um, I said the Mustang looks better earlier, and I re retract that statement 100% now. Yeah. Um, I really do like this new Civic. They really redeemed themselves after the ugly piece of shit they made last yeah, time. Yeah, the 2015? Yeah, that thing is actually hideous. Let's pull up a picture it's, of that. It's really, yeah, we, we could, yeah, let's pull up a photo. 2015 Honda Civic. Type. Oh my god. I don't think I'll be able to. Oh, my computer might blow up if I save this image. Alright, here. Let's go to the. Here, oh, okay, so cool wall, right? Well, I mean, we're putting that in the hottest hell, right? Yep, I agree. Alright. Cut and then paste. And then bam. The hell. No. Stay there. All right, oh, I'm just getting this set, guys. Jesus, just all right. Fine enough, but first, before we go back to our lap time race, let's just look at it. Like, what is that? 
That is. Get it off. Get it off. Get it off. No, but look at the fenders. Like, why do they have those weird fenders? It looks so fat. It looks like an egg. Like it's actually shaped like an egg. Um, Did we get into one of these back in the auto show, or was it better to be getting into the new one? I would hope we didn't. So (laughs) I'm just gonna start saying that I was in the new one. I would not want. I don't think I would have gotten in that even if I saw it. I probably. Yeah, it's hideous. It It is very, very ugly. All right, guys. So that's pretty much it for the cool wall. Let's move on to the lap time races. Ready when you are. Three, two, one. I'm off in the Mustang GT. And, um, yeah, it is snowing, so it is going to play some sort of a factor, but it's even ground. Oh, well, wow. It actually looks nice, the snow. And, um, come again to this. This is a really big, um, what's it called? Breaking zone, because if you fuck this up, you'll, you'll pretty much fuck your whole lap up. Exactly. And look at that. It wants to get free, but no. You have to remain civilized. You can hoon later. Jeez, this car is a beast. It's just like I said, these muscle cars. Ah, they are something else to drive, especially when you floor it out of a turn. Get out of here. But this car has not really disappointed me though in its handling. Obviously, I haven't been. I've been extremely pleased with how it's performed on straight lines and its power. But I was I was anticipating for it to be just like a normal muscle car. Um, handles not so best, but this thing actually handles pretty good. Like I said, remain civilized, Mustang. And then we go out through here. This thing actually sounds pretty good. Oh, God, Lee, it's a little big for that. It's all right. We're rerouted nicely. All right, this time you can hoon out. Yeah, there you go. See, hooning out does work some... Jesus, this car's too big for this. Okay, luckily those things didn't really slow us down much. And then, see if I can take it flat. Let's see. Let's see if you get killed here. This is where no I'm probably going to kill you. Good. No, no, train, because you're driving a Mustang. Yeah, I know. But this is probably where no. the, Han- the Honda will lose its time on these straights. And we come in there. Nice. Take it outside and then through the straight. Bam. All right. Nice, Beautiful. nice, nice. All right. Um, no, I'm in the world's fastest car. Yep. I'm gonna absolutely destroy this. All right, let's see if he can break his um o his o streak. If you don't know, I'm not is... confident whatsoever. Like, oh my gosh, like I'm not looking <laughs> after those straights. I'm telling you, uh, he is o and eleven in our events we've done. So hopefully he can go one and eleven. Alrighty. All right, ready when you are. Restart. Oh. For some reason, I clicked start and I didn't do anything. I can hear the turbo. The turbo's loud as hell on this thing. Yeah. Yeah. How big is the engine again? What was it? It was like a two liter inline four. Yeah. You gotta have a big turbo to get 300 out of that. Alright, go. Alright. There we go. Alright. In the nice blue Honda Civic with its bright red seats. Look at that. My beautiful bright red seats. You remember the Maserati Levante that had red seats but didn't? But yeah, it shows red, but when you got in the game, it's white. It's yeah. weird. Yeah, that was pretty weird. And I think Force Motorsport 7 literally just got axed, too, not too long ago. Like, a couple days ago. You got what? Axed. Like, it's off the uh, store and everything. No more updates. Oh, did it finally? Yeah. Yeah, Forza will do that with their games. Yeah. I mean, most companies do, but... Usually they're old and they don't get updates and they're like, fuck this, and they usually take it off the store. Yeah. So, like, I uh, wish I was able to get Forza Horizon 2 when it was in Game Pass. Yeah. So, do so I. I could replay it, but yep. took that off. When did they take it off? It hasn't been on for a while. A while, a while, a while. Yeah. When I first got Xbox Live back in like 2018, they had it on there. Yeah. Right, Fun fact, I first got Xbox Live in 2018 when and I was in 6th grade. And he had an Xbox like, for like at least 6 years before that. <laughs> oh yeah. Pretty fun. I could fit in here none like that big ass Mustang. It was so long. It wasn't necessarily fat, it was just long. Alright, again, so far. Nice lap. I do like the blue on this thing a lot. Oh, this lap was terrible, Jaden. No hope <laughs> whatsoever. 
none. Like, how am it's I going to ever win this? It looks so much like more like a hatchback. I don't know if there's a sedan version. I, I think this is a hatchback. It is a hatchback. It, one, it yeah. is, but it looks so hatchback. It honestly would look like... It's shaped almost like the um, older Zubru Impreza WRX. It yeah. is. Yeah. yeah. And then... Kaboom! All right, this is going to be close. Oh, my, no, it's not going to be close. I'm going to get absolutely douche. I, th I don't know who could have won this, honestly. It can go either way. 447 is what Mr. Mustang got. And you won, finally! No fucking way, did I, did I really? Yeah, 153.53. I'm too good. I'm the best driver in the world. I know. Your record has improved. You got nothing on me. 1 and 11, bitches. <laughs> Fuck out of here. Alright, guys. So, um, instead of ending off the episode here... Uh, we'll do a recap at the leaderboard just so like, especially as the series goes on and there's more, uh, what's it called? Oh yeah, hold on. Make sure you get a picture of my time. I'll get a picture oh, yeah, of yours. Um, but yeah, so like I'll explain more when we get over there, but um, yeah. So O wins his first event. Like I said, the Mustang whooped its ass on the first two. It didn't whoop it on the second one, it was close, but like I said, like I said in the beginning, it could go either way. They're both good at different things, but um, and I'm having a lag spike, so that's good way to end it so yeah we'll see y'all at the um leaderboards oh my god i can't even i literally can't see i can't even stop the recording all right, all right so to recap our um, little first episode as you see for the fastest car so far on the drag stroop is the ford mustang gt 2018 13.39 or 039 and then our fastest track car is the Honda Civic Type R. Obviously this list will get a lot better as time goes on and we've only done two cars. And if anyone's wondering what we do in the case if we do another if we do one of the cars that's already been tested before, we just um debating if like I think we can if the time's faster then you just update it, but if the time's slower then it's not. Then you don't update it. So it's just pretty much like that, so we can reuse any of these cards if we ever wanted to again, so that's not an issue. So, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. So, uh, yeah, do you have anything else you want to end off on? Um, I'm just very, very excited right now. I got my first win finally. Honestly, so, I, mean, I think I your overall record is now like five and like 19, so this is a good progress. But yeah, pretty much that's all there is. I hope y'all like this um episode, and um, yeah. Like if you want to see more, comment if you want to see anything different, or if you have a suggestion for cars to use. So yeah, thank you all. Have a good day.